In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the hyperlink color in MailChimp. So in this case, I have several different hyperlinks uh, in this particular template. So as you can see, this is a hyperlink, this appears a hyperlink, and then I have two hyperlinks down here that are about updating your preference and unsubscribing from the email. Now, there's two different ways you can go about changing the color of your hyperlink. The first way is to individually change the colors of every hyperlink, and the second way is to change the color of all the different hyperlinks at the same time. Now, please note that the second option is basically going to allow you to change uh, the color of all the hyperlinks, but they all must be the same color. You can't just have one blue and one red, for example. Now, in order to change the color of the hyperlink individually, all I have to do is simply, obviously, highlight the hyperlink or the text of the hyperlink, and then head over to the text color option right here in the top side, and then basically just make a red, blue, pink, or whatever color you want. And as you can see, just like that, the hyperlink color is now changed. However, let's just suppose that you have multiple different hyperlinks that you want to change all at once because you don't want to go through this process uh, individually. All you have to do is simply head over to styles on the left hand side here and then look for link click on the little drop arrow right here and as you can see the default link color is black all you need to do is head over to here and then just change the color of whatever you want and as you can see all the hyperlinks are changing besides the one that we changed manually just a second ago so yeah please keep in mind that if you change uh, the hyperlink color of one particular hyperlink manually it will not be overridden by this uh, feature right here so yeah that's pretty much everything to know about how to change the hyperlink color in mailchimp if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to help